Equations have shapes. I think one of the most interesting aspects of mathematics is the relation between the algebraic properties of an equation and the geometric shapes it generates. A second degree equation makes a parabola, so it can have at most two real roots. It's useful in drawing planets, where each pixel is the solution of a different quadratic equation. A cubic polynomial can have one of three shapes. The degree of a polynomial shows how many wiggles the curve can have. And if you really want wiggles, look at a sine curve, a sort of infinite degree polynomial. But the sine is best known as the ratio of sides of a right triangle, or as the vertical position of a point on a circle. The symmetry of the curve shows some algebraic trigonometric identities. Translational symmetry of the sine wave gives rotational symmetry of the circle and mirror symmetry of the circle is mirror symmetry of the wave. Another mirror symmetry goes diagonally on the circle. This gives the sign of the complement of an angle, the cosine. The cosine has its own translational symmetry. Sine waves are used to analyze sound waves, where you can build up complex waves either mathematically or with parts of your body. Remember the Pythagorean theorem? For a right triangle, the square on the hypotenuse equals the sum of the squares on the other sides. But if it's not a right triangle, this is no longer true. How can we fix it? The green and blue areas no longer fill the small squares. But here's something neat. The two leftover rectangles are also equal. And this works for any shaped triangle. Now, algebraically, the leftover areas are a B cosine C and B A cosine C. So we have A squared plus B squared minus 2 AB cosine C equals C squared, the law of cosines. This is useful to measure distances that are otherwise inaccessible. The relation between algebra and geometry is a sort of metaphor for right brain and left brain type of thinking. To really understand the universe, you have to put both halves of your brain together. And what field does this best? Computer graphics, of course.